what's this cooking for you and me? Today we're gonna have pizza for breakfast. And no, I'm not talking about your stale leftover pizza from last night. I'm talking about an actual breakfast pizza. We're gonna make fresh pizza dough, top it off with some mashed potatoes, some cheese, some bacon, some fresh eggs, and then sprinkle some chives on top. It's gonna be so delicious. I know you guys are gonna love it, so stay tuned. So we want to start by making our pizza dough, and today I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy pizza dough recipe that's only going to take five ingredients that you probably already have in the kitchen. So what I have here is a cup and a half of warm water. To this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of yeast. Then I'm going to give that a nice stir and set it aside and let it sit for 10 minutes until it's nice and frothy. And in the meantime, I'm going to measure out my flour and cut up my potatoes. So in a large mixing bowl, I want to add four cups of all-purpose flour. Then I want to add one tablespoon of salt. Then I just want to give it a quick toss to combine the flour and the salt. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to cut my potatoes. So what I have here is about a pound of new red potatoes. I like to leave the skin on because I think it gives it a little bit more flavor. In addition, it also gives that nice rustic homemade feel to it. And all I want to do is cut the potatoes in quarters so they boil faster. So I have my potatoes cut. Now I'm going to get a pot of boiling water started. Alright, now it's time to finish our dough. So our yeast mixture here is all nice and frothy, and all I'm going to do is add it to my flour and salt mixture. And the way I like to do this is to slowly pour in the yeast mixture as I'm stirring the flour. And you want to just keep doing this until you've poured in all of the yeast mixture. Then you want to add about 4 teaspoons of olive oil. I like to use a spoon to do all of the mixing until the dough forms, then I like to start using my hands. If the dough is a little bit sticky, just add a little bit more flour. Alright, now all you want to do is cover it with some plastic wrap and let it rest for about an hour so it can rise. Alright, our pizza dough is ready. Let's head back to the stove and start making our mashed potatoes. So I have my pot of boiling water that I started earlier and now I'm going to carefully drop my potatoes in there to minimize any splashing. I'm going to boil these guys for about 20 to 25 minutes until they can be easily pierced with a fork. So while my potatoes are boiling back there, I'm going to cut up my bacon. So if I know I'm going to be cutting my bacon into lardons, I like to freeze it overnight because it makes it a lot easier to cut. So I want to start off with three slices of thick cut bacon and I'm just going to cut them into nice strips. Then you just want to transfer the bacon onto a aluminum foil lined baking pan. Alright, I'm going to bake these guys for about 15 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees until they're nice and crispy. And in the meantime, let's check out our potatoes. So it looks like my potatoes are done boiling. Now I want to drain them and then return them back to the pot. Now you want to add two tablespoons of butter and a quarter cup of milk. Then you want to mash this with a potato masher until you get your desired consistency. Next you want to add one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a few sprinkles of salt and pepper. Then you just want to give that a really good mix. And remember, if your mashed potatoes look dry, just add a little bit more milk. Then just give it one last good mix. Alright, so our mashed potatoes are ready, our bacon is crispy, and our dough has risen. Let's start making our breakfast pizzas. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take out my dough from the bowl and divide it in half. I'm going to save one half of the dough by putting it in a plastic bag with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then keeping it in the fridge. It should be good for about one to two days. Now the other half of the dough, I'm going to stretch it out and flatten it into a circle that's about half an inch thick. Now I'm going to preheat my oven to 450 degrees. I want to transfer my pizza dough to a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Then with the spatula, you want to spread about half a cup to a cup of mashed potatoes on top of the flattened pizza dough. Followed by one to two cups of shredded cheese and the bacon bits. Lastly, carefully crack the eggs directly onto the pizza and finish it off with some chopped chives. Alright, our breakfast pizza is ready to go in the oven. We're going to bake this guy for about 15 to 20 minutes until the crust is a nice golden brown. I'll see you guys when it's done. So our breakfast pizza was in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now I'm just going to drizzle some extra olive oil on top. Get a few sprinklings of salt and a little dash of pepper. I think it's ready for a taste test. Now that's how breakfast should be. You guys are gonna love this recipe. 
Mickey. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time at Cooking for You and Me with Ronnie Wu.